subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! All right, guys, so we are flying out to Bahrain for World's Ultimate Strongman tomorrow morning. Nice and early, we're flying 6.50 a.m. from Aberdeen. So we're gonna do a little chat about our preparation, our kind of the rigmarole that we had to go through to basically fly out to Bahrain. We're still not there. Touch, Touch wood, wood, everything will be all right. So we're gonna have a little chat about our prep. So I'm gonna be the interviewer. I wanna ask Big Tommy. We're hey. live from the STV studios. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be like, maybe I could be like Piers Morgan. Uh, yeah. these, or we could maybe get Piers Morgan. Walk off. Eh? Walk off, Mr. Walk off. So we started our prep for World's Ultimate Strongman Bahrain in January time. So we got the two big dumbbells from Rebel Strength. How has it been for you <coughs> training in them? Yeah, so these dumbbells have obviously got the 2.5, is it? Thick handles, like three inch, three inch handles. So it's been good because at World Shows, man, they had the three inch handles on G's. I picked that hundred k up and thought, wow, this is like seven hundred k. But anyway, we came back and uh, ordered the two dumbbells, and they've been really good. They helped myself and Luke training. The only way you can get better is by actually training on the event or on a dumbbell, etc. So we had to get eighty k and hundred k dumbbells, three inch handles and training's been flying with them every week. We're hitting kind of decent numbers with them. Obviously these are harder than the ones, well, I believe they're gonna be harder than the ones Woos Brain have because the handle's much bigger, the Brain ones are smaller and smaller handles, so we should have that advantage. But yeah, Dumbo's actually turning into a good event of mine. What about Mr. Highland Oak? Oh. Well, it's over to you in the studio. Thanks, thanks Tom, live from the Stolten Strength Centre. So, yeah, much as such as same as you, everything's going well and that, um, improving every week. Um, as long as I don't lose concentration on it, I think it'll be a good event. Excited to see if we can keep up with, you know, like Novikov and JF and those guys are great at dumbbell. So, if we can kind of keep up with them. Just excited to get out and the Woos uh, dumbbell, the giant dumbbell they've got, it's like a medieval looking one. So they got a cage around it and stuff, so it's quite a good one to press. But yeah, no, I think dumbbells ticked off, it's been going pretty well. Um, and then the next event we've been training quite hard for now is the, the loading medley that we've got. So we've got sandbag, a shield, the stone and the tire yeah. as well. So that's been going quite well. We've been training hard on that, haven't we? Yeah, it's a very weird one because I don't think there's ever been a stone load mm. uh, in a strongman. Well, since I've been doing it, there's not, so mm. it's going to be weird. <laughs> the stone's at the end as well, so get into that and you're not allowed to use tacky, obviously. It's hard because you don't know where to shoulder it, you don't know whether to put it up to your, uh, to one motion it up, lap it up and stuff. So we've just been, we've more been training that for kind of technique that rather than distance because once you get it up five metres, you're going to do the full thing. So. Training for loading has just kind of been 10, 15 metres and trying to get the technique as, mm. as perfect as we can because if you ever drop the stone, if you drop the stone, you're basically done, is my, my kind of prediction. You know, everyone's going to be able to do the shield, tire and what's the other thing? Sandbag. Sandbag fast. Mm. I think it's going to come down to the stone. If you rush the stone, you could like lose points or whatever. So that's the most important. And a 140 kg stone is heavy after Three implements in the heat, yeah. <laughs> no tack either. So yeah, it could be a kind of hard, uh, hard loading medley. And we we've been struggling as well because obviously the the big dump of snow that we had and it was lying around for quite yeah. a while. We couldn't get out to train. We couldn't um, with the training inside the gym. It's only kind of six meter runs that we were doing, so it's not as kind of strenuous as what we'd normally do. But the last kind of two or three weeks we went outside and. But I think you lose it more in the first five metres of a run. Most people do, you know. Especially yeah. like that at, at the stones, if you don't pick it up right, you're not going to be able to run six metres with it. You're going to drop it. Mm. As soon as you pick that up, you're going to like oh, drop it. And mm. then same with the sandbag, tyres, tyre. But yeah, we've been since we've been outside doing it, we've been doing decent runs with it. So. Mm -hmm. The death by deadlift, so 320 starting, but then we've got to load each plate on by yourself. Yeah. So we've been doing that, working quite hard on that. It's an axle deadlift, 15 inch axle deadlift as well. So 
That's been pretty, pretty hectic. The first few weeks was hard, I'm not gonna lie. I think we only got up to like 340. When you're lifting it, when you're doing like 320, drop 340 like that, that's easier, but then to actually mm. run to get the plates, then to restrap in and do it, it takes so much breath, but it took me like two or three weeks to even get past 340. Mm. I was like, I'm not doing this. Mm. I was getting angry, but then once your body gets adapted to it, it was getting easier. We were yeah. hitting up to like 380, 400, so it's more just doing it every week. And that's the only way you're going to get better at these mm. things. It's pointless doing like 300 for six reps because and keeping glued onto the bar because that's not going to get you fitter to do the running about. But I think the running and loading is the hardest part. If you get your breathing on there, then geez, that's going to be a oh, that's going to be a hard one. That I think. I don't think it's about who's the best deadlifter. I think it's about being fit as well because mm, who can recover? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because so. you know, like I said. Uh, like doing 400 for four strapped in, it's probably easier than doing the whole medley. But now we'll get there, it's just dead. Be good. A nice wee death by then left in the suns. Whoever passes out wins. <laughs> and then we, there's a mystery event which we don't know, so we're just gonna, it is what it is. We'll Do I make it stones again, please? Make it log press, please. I'll give you some cash. Or yolk press would be nice. Log would be good. Yolk press would be nice. Nah, yolk only, not yolk press. And then the last event is obviously the 10 stone run. You're smashing that. I don't think we need to say too much about stones, do we? Just... Oh, well, we're actually training them harder than yeah. usual, which is good. Because they're not really... There's not, I, don't, I think we've tra trained them three or four weeks in a row. Yeah. I think mean, that's the first time I've, I've trained stones properly going into an event. The last time when I did the world record at Woos, I actually didn't train for the 10 stones, I don't think. I just trained like mm. reps, so I mean, it's, it's going to be good to see where, it, where I actually am training them. But, Mm. You're looking good in them as well, so... Yeah, yeah, but I was, last session was fine, 160 felt nice and easy. Um, I think for me, I'm going to carry on training the stones the way we have been in the run-up for, for World Strongest yeah. Man as well, so... Um, but yeah, it's all been... The, the, the training's been pretty good, I think. Our bodies, we've actually been managing to see the physio as well. Um, yeah, at the start, time. my body was brutal because... There wasn't really access to it, and because of bad weather. Because mm. the bad weather is not just to fit the training, it was affecting recovery 1000%. And I was, I just wasn't recovering enough between the sessions. Mm. But like Luke said, we're lucky to get some physio now, and yeah, we're feeling good. It's a big difference. And then obviously, that's that's probably been the easiest thing, the, the most stressful thing, I think, especially for you at the moment, is obviously all the. We need to get visas going into Bahrain, we need to do the <laughs> will we or will we not have to quarantine in hotels. Well, we have to, um, I don't know, whatever else, you know, all these kind of the rigmaroles that, because of the pandemic. So we had our, our test yesterday. Um, they were for, the, so Kushi and Sinead are actually coming out as well. So for the four tests, it was £660. So, Which I don't get because the other tests that you get for free for me are just the exact same. It is what it, it is. is, what it is. I think it's more stressful this time than it was in November. Yeah, definitely. I think November was... It's quite easy, wasn't it? I think it wasn't, yeah, it was less stressful. And I think it's worse now mm. trying to travel than it was in November. We, we didn't have any problems at all. Yeah, it was a little bit more open, I think, then. So yeah. it's, it's going into the unknown, isn't it? So we're flying from Aberdeen to Heathrow and Heathrow to Bahrain. So, um, I mean, it's just just a little bit more kind of up in the air. We still hopefully get our COVID uh, results back today. Hopefully that'll go okay. Like we say, Kushi and Sinead are um, coming out. We've just printed off our, our visas, our uh, invitation letter from the, I think it was the Foreign Secretary or something from Bahrain. So they've asked. Olympic people or something. Yes, some governing guy in, in Bahrain. So they've invited, so the address, the letter would be Tom Stoltman, we gladly invite you and family to come to, to Bahrain. So we've got that official invite from the powers that be, which is cool. Um, It'd be nice to have them over. Yeah. It feels, they say it feels like their first show all over again, because it feels like ages since yeah, it's been we've ages. had people, yeah. even like filming people like Jordan, mm. the Mulligans and stuff, yeah. they get to come over and even having them is going to be weird. Cause yeah. So that's going to be the biggest, the, the biggest filming session we have had with Jordan and or the Mulligans since we started filming the documentary. So they're managing to come out to Bahrain to, to film um, for the documentary um, and yeah, hopefully get some nice footage. We're going to be vlogging. Simon's going to be working all hours of the night. So again. who's going to go? He's going to have a Domino's. 
He's going to do what he wants and he's going to film and he's going to edit in his spare time. So we're flying, I think it's British Airways we're flying. Are we or are we not going to get business? <laughs> I don't care what Luke says, I will be getting business class, right? I ain't flying any other of it. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Big Man, eh? <laughs> I, I, I have my life savings for this. So uh, yeah, business is for me. You had your life savings for yeah, this? I saved that for this. Have okay. you? Yeah. No, I have a piggy bank at home. Oh. I'm gonna break it tonight and see how much I've got. Just hand over that to the, the, the check and stuff. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. So we're, like I say, waiting for the COVID test. We're leaving about half one, two o'clock in the morning to get down to Aberdeen Airport. I'll be eating sausage sandwiches in the back of the car. That's what Tom does. No, because you'll be driving, so I just want to let them know. You know. <laughs> Guys, if you have any more questions for myself or Luke, anything you want to know about how we recover, how we deload, how we get ready for a competition, write in the comments below. And we will answer when we're out in Bahrain, sunning ourselves on the beach. Well, after Thursday night, comment below. So that's it, so thank you, I guess, for all the support. It means a lot. Um, we just did a little clip there. We've got our new t-shirts just arrived. Wait, our new design. So new design. Swipe up and bye. Thank you for watching. Get us to 1 million subscribers and uh, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And keep ringing that little bell. Ding -ling -ling -ling. Ding -ling -ling.